First at 10, it's been truck after truck slamming into the Independence Bridge in Kansas City for years. Finally, a new warning is about to go up. Crews started constructing warning curtains on both sides of the bridge this week. This is an example of what it looks like. If a truck hits this, the driver knows they'll hit the bridge too. Now, tomorrow marks one year since Kansas City and the Kansas City Terminal Railway announced the project. KSHB 41's Alyssa Jackson passed the mic to people in the community who say they've had an enough. For the past few weeks, I've been talking to people who grew up in the Kansas City area, truck drivers who deliver in this direction about the Independence Avenue Bridge. To them, it's known as the truck eating bridge. It's a punchline for a lot of people in town, sayings like the bridge strikes again. The truck eating bridge I've actually heard a couple times. But as much as it's become satire, there's a reason why Michael Hauser doesn't think it's funny. I'm a uh, homeless, uh, so like I'm staying in abandoned buildings or um, shelters or anything, but I stay on the strip of the avenue trying to figure it out. It's a railroad bridge, but for some people it's also a home. There's been at least 10 times I can count that it's been shut down because it's not been cleared. And there's been a lot more. Since 2020, the Kansas City Police Department has taken at least 40 crash reports. Crews started working this week to put up warning curtains. Drivers already have flashing lights and clearance signs. To be quite honest, I've seen warning curtains used in other cities, and I've seen people hit them too. Christopher Drew has been a truck driver for nine years. I lived, I grew up in Kansas City, so I know the area around the bridge really well. He says there's blame to go around for the crashes, but truck drivers are taught clearance on their first day. I'll call the shipper, I'll call the receiver and be like, hey, is there anything special I need to know about where you are? We took a ride and he showed us his warning system and an alert did pop up before we got too close to the bridge. And right here, see there's my height. It says 0.3 miles. Now, as a truck driver, you need to be looking for your way out. If it's another warning drivers need after a year in the works and a $150,000 price tag, it's almost there. The bridge is home, though. I mean, yeah, I stay on the avenue, so it's like, quit hurting my home. <laughs> Let's get some curtains up there. In Kansas City, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.